Good morning. For those of you that are new to Boca L, I am Miss Bennett and I am the media specialist. I'm so glad to see you guys in our virtual learning environment. So just like if we were at school, I'm going to start our first day of school in the media center by reading you a book. So the book that I have for you today is called Do Not Bring Your Dragon to the Library. So on the front cover, I see this dragon and he has this very satisfied look on his face. He's enjoying all of these books that he has stacked up around him. And I see this little boy with his arms out. It looks like he's saying, no, don't come in. So maybe he doesn't want the dragon in the library. We'll have to see as how the story develops. But I can't wait to read this book. So let's get started. Let's listen. And we'll be stopping and discussing along the way. So here we go. Do not bring your dragon to the library. Written by Julie Gaspin. Illustrated by Andy Elkerton. When you visit the library, please keep in mind, no running, no shouting, to all books be kind. But there's one rule that's bigger than the rest, and it must be followed by all of our guests. So it, here's the librarian. She's the one that does not want the dragon in the library. She gives the rules here. No running, no shouting, and be kind to the books. So let's see what she's going to say about this dragon. Do not bring your dragon to the library. A dragon is sometimes a very rude beast. At story time, he'll take up 10 spaces at least. A dragon's big bottom can pack a real punch. Each time he sits down, you'll hear a great crunch. So there's her first argument for no dragons in the library. They take up too much space. They're pushing the kids out of the way. The kids have these terrified looks on their faces, except for this one in the corner here. He looks a little chill, like he's enjoying the dragon. But everybody else, not so much. Let's keep reading. So do not bring your dragon to the library. You may ask her to come to a library show. But trouble will start with the first song she knows. Her swaying hips will crowd your space with a dragon jig that has no grace. Again, another argument is taking up too much space. It's all over the place Take, so other people can't enjoy the library. So do not bring your dragon to the library. Dragon does look like they're having a good time. Maybe you're thinking, don't worry, it's fine. There's plenty of space in that library of mine. Perhaps that's true, but he's sure to roam. Then you'll be wishing you had left him at home. So do not bring your dragon to the library. Again, knocking the bookshelves over because he's so big, takes up so much space. You see... Aisles of books are hard to resist. She's sure to find sections that cannot be missed. As she starts to read, she could overexcite. And then, chances are, her flame will ignite. Oh, another reason not to have the dragon. They're going to be so excited about reading the books that they might catch the books on fire. We see the flames coming out of the dragon's mouth and the smoke coming out of his nostrils. Let's see what's gonna happen. So do not bring your dragon to the library. And there's the book on fire. Oh no, we can't have that. I know, I know mm -hmm. what you're saying is true, but leaving him home will make me quite blue. It's my favorite place. Please listen to me. My dragon would love our library. So it sounds like the boy is going to make his argument now about why the dra dragon should be in the library after we've just listened to the librarian explain why he should not be. So let's see what his reasons are for bringing the dragon to the library. Movies and computers and places to read. Tales of heroes and adventure of good and of greed cookbooks and bios. Oh, listen to my plea. Those are all great things 
happening in the library. May I please bring my dragon to the library? Let's see what her answer is going to be. Maybe there's a compromise. Let's see what the solution to this problem is going to be. I'm afraid, my kind friend, I cannot agree. A dragon in the library? It simply can't be. But don't fret. Don't frown. I have a solution. Oh, a solution. Listen now to my smart substitution. Your dragon should not miss the library treasures. Just bring home some books for her reading pleasure. If you use your card often, you will very soon see. So her compromise is for the little boy to check out books and take them home. And look at all the dragons, their faces, waiting to see what her answer was going to be. Let's see how this is going to end. So it looks like the dragons are excited. That you never have to bring your dragon to the library. So her solution is take the library to the dragon and use your library card to bring those books and resources home. And it looks like that was a good compromise, a good solution, because the dragon looks happy, the boy looks happy, and they have their stacks of books to go through. I love that story. Well, I'll see you tomorrow for another book from the Media Center. Bye, guys.